Rourke and I are on the hunt for some sort of beanbag or cozy chair or something for his new reading corner that I'm trying to build him. So we left Wesley home with Daddy and we're on the hunt for some sort of cozy chair, right? Yeah. We might not be able to find one, but hopefully we will be able to. We got a front row parking spot, even though it's a really busy day. So that's a good sign, right? Yeah. Okay, should we go look? Yeah. Are you gonna help me find something? Yeah. Okay. I'm so sorry that it take me. Just you for special time with Rorik? Yeah, it's special time with me. That you can just take me. Oh, I'll see if this, I'll see if we don't have to do you any treats. Yeah, in the window, I see those. Okay, come on, let's see what we can find. I want to buy one. I want to buy one of those. That is so cool. Okay, now let's go there. We'll Will that be a... Okay, we gotta look for cozy chairs. No! Look at this! And, and I'm kind of kind of big in these days. I'm like a giant. Look how big this one is. That is very big and pretty. Look at this wobbly and flower wig. Look at this flower paint. Look at this rug. That's cute. Treats. Whoa. Look how old that is. This. What is that? It's coffee. Coffee. You need coffee. Uh, I don't need that kind. Look at these chairs. I love this one. That is so cute. I love this shelf. This would be so cute for your room or Wesley's room or the playroom. Do you like that shelf? Like this lamp. Yeah, that's a nice lamp too. Whoa. I don't see oh, any floor That's cute. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, I was thinking we could potentially get like a big dog bed to use as like a floor cushion. Because this is very thick and it's cute with bees. What do you think about that? Might do that if we can't find a real chair. We found these ones. What do you think? Let's go back and keep looking. Well, that looks cute. Baby boots. Those are swimming suits. Look at these bug sheets. What is that? What is that noise? I do not know what that noise is. I love these bug sheets. Do you like these bug sheets? I think those are so cute. Oh, I love this too. Man, they have lots of cute bed stuff here. Mommy, mom, can we get out? Here's some floor cushions. I want to feel it. That might be fun. I want to feel it. What do we think about that? Yes, yes. Oh, ladybug sheets. Those are so cute too. But These ladybug sheets, yeah. Oh. I love all of their cute stuff here. Oh, oh shit. Oh, feel this. It's a heavy one. That is so interesting. Yeah, they're they're weighted. It's very heavy. That's a unicorn. Feel this one though. I love this one. See how heavy they are? I don't know why they're so heavy. That's interesting. Our battery's gonna die, so we will reconvene at home. Okay. The cam, your camera. Yeah, the battery's gonna die. Oh no. Okay, we're up to graham crackers. I also found these shorts for him, which I thought were really cute. Mommy, mommy, I want this. Okay. Let's see. Is it easy for you to grab? What do you think?
This is my latest purchase that I just got for Rorik. I just found it on Amazon, but I was looking for something that he could use, like a real hammer and nails, because he has been trying to sneak our hammer and our real nails out of Ryan's tool chest and hammer nails into our wall. Right, Rorik? Yes, so long as you said you hammer in, in the wall of the old house. Yeah, because we can't just hammer random nails into the walls, right? Yeah. Uh, so probably just did that to know how we build it. Well, yeah, then you can you can practice doing real nails without putting them into our wall. Okay, it is very late at night and Ryan's working late tonight. But instead of sleeping, I am going to stay up late and clean, which I already did, and organize the playroom a little bit more. So in the last clip when our battery died, we found this small floor cushion at Target, and I don't know if I caught it on video, but Ryan told me it was the ugliest thing he's ever seen. So I think I will return that because I kind of just impulse bought it because I was looking for something for the kids to sit on. And in the meantime, today I found this giant beanbag chair that I'm sitting on. So now we have that, and I might return that small one. I think that small cushion was too small, and this chair is like way too big, so I don't even know. But as for our playroom, our baby corner used to be right here. This is Wesley's mirror that I'm gonna move. And I'm moving all the baby stuff to this side. We had like some ABC stuff on the wall that I took off and like damaged our wall already. So that was fun. But the calendar I'm gonna move to a different area of our house too and then move like the baby stuff all to this side. And I still wanna get him a bigger shelf at some point but for now I just have his shelf over there and his mat and I'll move his mirror and then we got these bookshelves that I just put this one together the other night and I'm gonna put the other one together right now I bought two of the same and I'm gonna lay them out just side by side like a big library wall I was initially going to put them in here where this bookshelf is and put one on this wall and one on this wall, like a corner, but the kids don't really come in this little living room very much, and so I wanna put books like where they are the most, and I like having books as like a focal point just as much as the toys, so that's why I'm trying to put them in the playroom now. But here's how big that giant chair is. I don't even know. I'm going to show you guys some of the things I got for Rorik for Easter because I'm so excited. So I had the idea to make some themed Easter baskets. I know most Easter baskets are usually always themed like bunnies and chickens and like spring stuff. It's always the same stuff. But I had the idea to do like book themes. So I think I'll do it with Wesley too where I like find a book that I want to buy for them and then theme like the other little toys around the book. So I have this book for Rorik. It's a book that we checked out from the library quite a while ago. And that's why I love going to the library because we get like 10 or 15 books every week. And then he usually likes all of them, but every once in a while there's one that he really loves that I end up buying. And this was one of those that he mentions all the time and he really, really loved. So it's like about an owl that is a knight and there's a dragon at the end. But the illustrations are really cute and it's just a very cute book. I found this toy maker on Etsy that had pretty cheap wooden toys. Well, cheap for the fact that they are like hand painted wooden toys. So I got him some knights. How cute are these? And then a dragon. He doesn't really have any wooden figurines like this. All of his animals and stuff are all like more realistic plastic ones. So I wanted to see if he would like this kind. But then. There was a message in the Etsy shop that said if you had an idea for a toy, you could message them and they would try to make it for you. And so I messaged them and asked if they could make a night owl. And look at this. Look how cute this thing is. It's like exactly like the book. I was so amazed. It's so cute. <laughs> Mark's going to love it. If he even remembers this book. The only hard part about waiting so long to give this to him is he got this book before Christmas at the library. 
so he may have forgotten it by the time he receives it for Easter, but he will reread it and re-like it, I'm sure. But I thought this was like the cutest thing ever, so I wanted to share it. I did have to pay shipping because I don't remember what country it was from, but not where we live. But the prices themselves were actually very cheap. And then I was thinking about giving him a one of those toys that is like a stick with a horse head, if you know what I'm talking about. I never had one of those as a child, but maybe, I don't even know if kids like those, but he has been taking our pole that's in our sliding glass door that like locks the door, and he like put it between his legs and like say he's riding a horse and like walk around with it. So I'm looking for one of those horse head things. I don't even know if they sell those anymore, but I think he would like that to go with all of his like night stuff. I just wanted to give a moment of silence for command strips because we use these things for like everything in our life. <laughs> okay. Okay, I lied. I'm not actually gonna build this tonight or maybe not for this video because that took me long enough already, but I think this bookshelf is so cute. We have tons more books to put on it. I just got a handful just so I could see it in the morning because I am too tired to keep doing this. But this can hold so many books if we really stuff it full and like bring each one to the front. I feel like it can hold like 100 books. And I decided to find one that was front facing even if we fill it more so it has like more options. It's still easier to sort through than when they're all like just with their spines facing. I just feel like presenting the books like this just makes them so much more inviting for the kids to come grab, so I'm hoping that works. My only drawback to this shelf is these bars, I hope don't, aren't tested as like pickler bars to climb because they, this shelf is really sturdy, but these bars are like, def definitely would not support a child's weight, so hopefully that does not happen. But I did anchor this too, I didn't film that part, but it is like anchored firmly into the wall beyond just a little screw that I used, so. It's pretty solid and when I get the other bookshelf it'll be like this whole wall like a little library area so I think that will be very cute. Mm -hmm.